What's up, peoples? So, I'm kind of lazy and took forever to get to this. If you know me, it doesn't surprise you. So, basically, this is part two of the gym. Kind of, we'll show you the updates. And everybody, of course, always wants to know the pricing. So, at the end of the video, I'll go over the pricing. Might jump around. I don't know. This is very impromptu. So, whatever. But basically, I'll just go around everything real quick. Try and point out the stuff that's been changed since the first video that I put out. And then, yeah, like I said, at the end, I'll go over the pricing and then everybody will know. I mean, I don't see this gym changing much anymore. I really got everything that I need. And unless if something breaks, I don't see me replacing any of it. So this is probably about as good as it's going to get for the most part. So here we go. So, of course, got the dumbbells. And I know one thing I changed was I put that graffiti little banner thing back there. And up here we got some of these tin things for uh, cosmetics. I also got more cosmetics over here. Uh, you know, it's a work in progress. There'll be more, obviously, over time. I'll put more stuff up. Decided to put all my metallic albums up there because of reasons. And over here... Put a few more things up. Um, I mean, those right there are the bands that get most of the play time around here. So I figured I'd throw those up. Uh, let's see here. Got the bars, nothing really changed there. Same weights. Put some of those in here so when we do certain workouts on this, uh, those hold out the uh, bench a little bit more. So those kind of help out for certain workouts. Uh, same elliptical, same treadmill, and this is new though, got a decline ab bench, this thing is awesome, actually just got this, and the only reason why I could really get this is because it's two piece, so every time I need it, I need to pull it out and put it together for two pieces, it's easy, but that was actually very needed because that bench doesn't go very decline at all, so Kind of sucked and we have the ghd machine over here and eh, i like it it's all right but i kind of wish i went with a different one uh and then of course one of the most important pieces the rack got some rubber weights for it that match it but uh, i also had another set of weights you can kind of tell that i paint them to match they're metal but, uh, yeah, right there, show you a little bit better. Fancy, I know. And I also bought these arms for it too, spotter arms, because trying to do bench with these ones is, you can't really get back far enough, so when I do bench, I bring it out here and do bench right here. And it kind of, honestly, like when Corey and I do lifts, sometimes we can both use two different spots. So it's actually kind of nice having these extra uh, spotter arms. So it works out pretty good. And here's also one of the awesome changes. Look at this guy. Tell me that's not badass. Freaking lifting gnome. Look at that guy. Look at how badass he is. He's got a freaking gun around his freaking neck. I mean, look at that. It's insane. But yeah. Anyways. So that's all the same. I did change a few things here. Obviously, uh, the stereo improved. Definitely like this. It, uh, it works pretty well in this little area. Gets pretty dang loud. Definitely love that. Hundred bucks. Someone put that up for a hundred bucks. I I hit him right up. Yeah, had to get that. It's too good of a deal. I also painted this. I didn't really know what I was doing. I don't even know why I went with this. I just had the paint and I was like, I'm gonna make a pattern, and this is what came out. I don't mind it, but it definitely looks a little different. And I think it's the same old stuff in here. Some attachments and. Uh, this adjustable step thing. Um, oh, I did get these gravity boots. These are actually pretty badass. I like using these. You can do a lot of stretching type stuff and ab exercises. I just, you know, put them on and hang right there. So if you got uh, the means, I suggest getting some of these. They work pretty great at stretching your back out. 
And, well, there's this. Not that it's a big deal, but more foam rollers, PVC pipe. Now you wanna know pain. Take a week, every three months I try to take a week off of lifting. And then hit legs really hard when you first get back. And then the very next day after that, foam roll with PVC pipe. I don't think I'll ever do that again. That was really painful. <laughs> and the mirror upgrade here, a uh, guy in, putting the house in right across from us uh, came up to me, he's like, hey, I got this massive mirror. Do you want it? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So now this, this spot has a much nicer mirror. And this is definitely new. Uh, reverse hyper. Uh, these you don't see often. And I had to have this one special, specially made by uh, Angry Boy Custom Automotive, LLC, I believe is the full name for it. Uh, Shane, shout out to him. This thing is awesome. Like, to actually buy one of these, I couldn't even buy it because none of them would fit in this gym. I mean, it had to be custom made. But to buy one like this, with how well it's built, and I mean, it would have been a lot. Like, we're talking 1500 maybe, somewhere in that realm. Maybe even more, because these things aren't cheap. And, uh, yeah, I mean, a little over 400 bucks, four to 500 bucks. Can't remember exactly what I paid, and this thing was made. I mean, it wasn't finished. I had to do a little bit, like put this on and paint it and whatnot, but it, barely anything, you know, I, just time. And this thing is a, it's a tank. I mean, if you need anything, custom fab, hit them up, look them up. He does awesome work. This thing is gonna last longer than I do. All right, moving on. Uh, this is also a new piece. It's basically replacing the same type of, uh, like, oh, what, what do you call these? Universal gym, I don't know, multi-gym. But this one is, in my opinion, a lot better. And I'd been looking for one of these for a while and one finally came up on Craigslist. And it was a pretty solid price and I had to have it. Like this, if you see an M3, Inspire M3, buy one of these. There's so much you can do with these. And if you get them used, it shouldn't be that expensive. But they're just a really versatile machine and they're awesome. Can't recommend this one enough. So if you see one, get it. Uh, and as far as... I. Oh yeah, the flooring, I, I put a quarter inch over here instead of the three quarter. Um, except for right here, this is just that really thin floor mat, but either way I upgraded the flooring right here. So there's that. And I think that's about it for the changes. I mean, it's it's come along, but I'm kind of, you know, out of, out of room here for stuff. <laughs> so this is, about all it's all it is i do have an airdyne and a rower and a punching dummy elsewhere because obviously i don't have enough room for that stuff but those are also technically included in all this equipment and speaking of that going into pricing that so all three of those items are included in this pricing and i figured the easiest way was to just show you, you can look if you can read my chicken scratch good for you you'll know what i spent now, keeping in mind, I had some of this stuff already before I moved here. And I bought and sold a lot of stuff and actually made probably around 1500 bucks in profit selling and reselling stuff that didn't quite work out for me. So that was kind of nice, which helped with this cost. So in the end, we're looking at just under 7500 for everything. Um, and again, I already had some of this stuff, so it's not like I just purchased it all within a year. I mean, November of 2016, I think is when we moved in here, something like that. So that's kind of when this all started, getting put together. The gym has changed a lot. I mean, I've been working on it for a while now, obviously. So it took it a bit to get to where it is. Uh, shout out to coworkers and Blair because he, well, coworkers, quite a few of them hooked me up with some really good cheap equipment. And I thank them for that. And Blair, when I told him I wanted some mirrors for my uh, gym, I mean, you see what he did. Like, most all of these mirrors came from him, quite a few of them. He, he hooked me up, so I was like, all right, I guess this gym's going to have a lot of mirrors then, because, shoot, I got them for free. I barely paid for any of these mirrors. 
<laughs> I had to pay for those to get those to fit, so I had to have them cut. And I already had a bunch of these. Other than that, all these mirrors were free. Yeah, you can't complain there. I mean, like, that saved me a ton right there. So I also, now this is just kind of adding up. Uh, some things I knew exactly because I paid, some of this stuff was brand new that I bought. Not the big ticket items. The big ticket items I definitely did not pay full price for. But this was kind of a rough guesstimate on a lot of the stuff. And we're looking around 23000 or 500 I didn't update this list, so there's a few other items that this list includes that this one doesn't have. So we're talking a little over 2500 or 23500-ish, 600 ish somewhere in there, how much everything would cost. So if you buy used... And I, most of the stuff I got used on Craigslist or the Facebook uh, market, you can save so much money. It's just a matter of paying attention, knowing if it's a good deal, of course, and then having the means to go get it. Definitely have a truck or you're not going to be able to get a lot of stuff, that's for sure. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a million things I could go over, but I mean, I'd rather not. I mean, if you got questions, just throw them in the comments and I'll answer them, but... Like this, this is it. It's, it's amazing having a home gym like this. I got to admit that. I mean, some people, it, it's not necessary. Like if you're only going to work out here and there and stuff, which most people do, you don't need this. I mean, honestly, you get a rack, even you don't even need one nearly this good or something like this. That'll do you just fine. You can easily stay in shape, but if you want to get serious, and make this basically a life choice, if you will. I mean, you could set something like this up with just a little bit of time and elbow grease. And, I mean, it, you don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to wait for anybody. It's worth it, in my opinion. It, and it's not that difficult to set up, really, in the end. And then it's, it's gym equipment. It lasts forever. I mean, stuff like this. Stuff like this, not so much. I mean, that, that's obvious. But the rest of it, it's... You buy it once, you got it for years upon years if you take good care of it. Totally worth the investment, in my opinion. So, basically, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just throw it down in the comments, and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. And peace out.